What's up everybody, I'm John Jackson, and today we're gonna to take a quick look into Zip Softball. Let's get straight into it. While they had a rough start to the season, beginning at 0-9, their record currently stands at 17 and 26, giving them a winning percentage of 39%. They've turned their season around by playing well recently, having a record of 12 and 10 in the conference. The Zips must love the home cooking though, because when they're playing at home, this is when they play at their best. They have a home record of nine and two. That's really good if I do say so myself. In comparison, their road record leaves some room for improvement, as it currently stands at 6 and 13. But I'm confident that this town and group can improve upon this later in the season. One reason to believe that even more improvement will come from this team has to relate to the Zip star pitcher, Lexi Petrov. For the year, she has an ERA of 3.56, while also having 70 strikeouts. Other important pitchers have been Alexa DeFeo and Olivia Otani. Another town and player I could point to is Jaden Bryant having a batting average of 297, the stat that immediately catches my eye is that she has eight home runs for the season, the highest amount on the team. Molly McChesney has also been putting in quality bats at the plate, tying a season batting average of 340 up to this point. Other important players have been Lexi Campbell, Angel Serona, among others. However, even with this talented group, Northern Illinois was not an easy matchup. Zips will be the first one to strike in the first inning, but by the time the fourth inning rolled around, it was an even ball game. By now though, this is something the Zips are used to, given they had to claw their way back to the season. In the sixth inning, the Zips would take over the game and come out with the W, sweeping the series against Northern Illinois. They won both of their other games by a score of four to three. That's how you close out a team, ladies and gentlemen. Their next game against Toledo would prove to be an even tougher challenge. In the first inning, both teams came out swinging but things would take a turn for the worse in the third inning, as Toledo would take a 5-2 lead, and this would be the case for the majority of the game. Still, if there was a glimmer of hope in any sense of the word, Toledo will also remain scoreless for the rest of the way. Once again, doing what they've done all season long, the Zips would make an absolutely commanding comeback and take over the game in the sixth inning, ultimately coming out victorious. Just like the Northern Illinois series, the Zips were also perfect against Toledo, Outside of the 6-5 victory, the team would also win the second game of the doubleheader by a score of 11-8. Looking at this game and this season, credit has to be given to this team's resilience and the coaching staff. Despite the unfortunate start to their season, they haven't let that get to their heads, and hopefully they continue to play strong. The heart of this team is infectious, that's all I have to say. I've been your host John Jackson with the ZTV Sports Report, and I'm signing off. Goodbye everybody.